Hey, it's Brian Mertens, and in this video, I'm gonna give you three tips for finding bird nests. And if you want to increase your chances of finding the place where a bird has chosen to raise its family, there's actually some pretty simple ways to do it and build your observation skills, get better at being tuned with what's happening around you in a landscape. Now, what I don't recommend is barging into the bushes if you suspect that there might be a nest there because, you know, nest hunting is a little bit tricky in that if you give away the location of a nest to crows or jays or other scavengers, uh, they might actually go in there and steal the eggs or otherwise pillage the nest. So um, unless you were in a real survival situation and you needed to actually like steal the eggs for yourself in order to survive, you want to be able to actually locate nests without giving away their location to predators. So these three tips that I'm going to give you will enable you to find bird nests you know, without actually needing to get super close and endangering the nest and, and really just using your awareness to notice patterns in how the birds are acting and how that tells you about their nesting habits. So uh, the first thing that I would say is that probably the best way to find the location of a nest is simply by watching the parent birds and learning to identify the common bird behaviors associated with nesting. You know, the main time of year uh, when birds nest is in spring and early summer. And in your area, there will be a certain time of year when you start to see the birds gathering in pairs. And it's usually around the time when the male birds start to sing more frequently. You can look for birds carrying nest materials to certain parts of the landscape. You can look for birds carrying food to certain parts of the landscape. On a more general level, the thing that really stands out to me is, is simply birds flying into the same patch of trees over and over and over again. Basically, any time that you watch a bird for more than five minutes, if it has a nest in the area, then it's gonna try to visit the nest fairly regularly. So um, that's the first thing to watch for and just get a feel for the rhythm of a nesting bird and, and notice any points on the landscape that it's visiting over and over and over again. Another thing that really helps me locate bird nests is to actually watch for nest robbers like crows and jays. And if a nest robbing bird on the prowl gets close to a nest, you know, it'll be pretty obvious because the parent birds will get agitated. They might give alarm calls. They might actively try to chase the predator away or, or they might just get really still and alert and choose to not visit the nest until the danger goes away. And then when they do go away, the birds will resume their normal rhythm. So you can watch for that and any activities of nest robbers as a sign that there could be a nest nearby. And that'll help you start to narrow down, you know, where you should be looking for the signs of active nesting activity. Uh, now, the third thing that you can do is to actually look for nests in the off season. I, I know somebody who uh, shared a story about taking their little stepladder out in the forest and looking up in every tree and every bush for nests and, and just finding a ton of nests by doing that. And you know, winter is a great time to look for old nests because the trees are all bare and you don't have to worry about giving the location away to predators. And so you can really get used to knowing where you're seeing nests in the off season and then you'll be able to use that knowledge to better predict where next year's nests might be. So, uh, you know, as always, my whole philosophy is just around building your awareness. You know, if you start watching the birds a lot more closely in this way, uh, it really won't take long before you start to have almost like a sixth sense for where the birds are building their nests and you'll be able to spot them with just the, the brief flight of a bird into a tree and you'll know that it's telling you that there's a nest in there. So. Yeah, go look for nests. It's a lot of fun. It's a great way to connect with nature. And if you're interested in really getting good at watching birds and understanding more of what's happening in their lives, I made some cool free videos that will take you on a bird language adventure. And if you want to learn more about how birds defend their nests and survive out in nature, surrounded by dangerous hawks, cats, weasels, and nest robbers, I'll put a link in the description to where you can access those free videos. Just go check it out. It's a pretty cool way to connect with nature through the lives of birds.